microwave oven. The microwave oven is extremely useful in terms of cooking time and energy efficiency. You can cook by using one-third or one-fourth of the time of a normal oven and by consuming less energy in the same rate. When the unit is first energised, the display will show 000. Press the clock button twice to set the clock. The clock icon will start flashing. Set the time by turning the menu knob. Then press the hour button again and set the minute by turning the menu knob. Press the clock button again to save the setting you made. Press the start key once for quick heating. The device will operate with 100% microwave power for 30 seconds and then stop. If you want to increase the duration, press the same key repeatedly. Each press will increase the time by 30 seconds. You can select the microwave energy level, grill function or combi cooking function by pressing the cooking key. When you press the key once, the P100, which appears on the display, means that the microwave power operates at 100%. If you press twice, the display will show P80 and microwave energy will work at 80%. For microwave cooking only, you can use P100, P80, P30 and P10 options. If you want to grill, Press the cooking button six times. The display will show the letter G, and microwave energy will not work, but only heating resistance will operate. When grilling, do not remove the glass tray inside the product and use a wire shelf. If you want your food to be cooked for a while with microwave energy and heating resistance for a while, you can choose one of the two kinds of combi function, which is suitable for you. To do this, press the cooking button until the display shows C1 or C2, or turn the menu knob. With the C1 combi function, you have set the cooking time of your food to 55% microwave energy, 45% grill. With the C2 function, you have set your cooking time to 36% microwave, 64% grill. The combi functions are ideal for frying the surface of your food and cooking it as you like. After selecting the function, confirm by pressing the start button and set the cooking time by turning the menu knob. Finally, press the start button the device will function and run for the time you set, and it will automatically shut down. Microwaves are ideal products for defrosting. You can apply the defrosting according to the weight of the food or the duration of the defrosting. Press the defrost button once for defrosting according to the weight of your food. The display will show DEF1. Select a weight from 100 to 2000 grams by turning the menu knob and press the start button. The device automatically sets a time according to the weight you specify and will automatically shut down at the end of the time. For defrosting, depending on time, Press the defrost button twice. The display will show DEF2. Turn the menu knob to select a time up to 95 minutes and press the start button. The device will automatically shut down at the end of the time you specify.
You can cook some foods such as meat, pasta, fish using the automatic menu program. To do this, turn the menu knob to the right. You'll see the codes on the display between A1 and A8. Once you have selected the program, save it with the start button. Then turn the menu knob to select the average weight of the food. Once you have made the weight selection, you can start the cooking process by pressing the start button. If you want to defrost food first and cook it after that, you can use the multi-cooking program. For example, after 5 minutes of defrosting, to make a 10-minute cook, press the defrost button twice. Then turn the menu knob until you see 5 on the screen. Press the cooking button once, then press the start button once. To adjust the cooking time, turn the menu knob until 7 appears on the display. Press the start button to start the program. The appliance will first unfreeze your food and then cook it. For the child lock, press the stop button for 3 seconds. An icon will appear on the display indicating that the keypad is engaged. Thus the keypad will be locked against any intervention. To deactivate the lock, simply press the same button for 3 seconds. When water or other liquids are heated, a metal spoon must be put inside, otherwise the water may overheat. When overheated water is shaken, while taking out from the oven, it can cause a burnout by starting a violent boiling close to the explosion. To ensure that the food is fully and evenly heated, it must be inverted or the position of the tray must be changed. The food should be put into small pieces as much as possible. Since microwaves are more effective on foods on the outer side, place the smallest and thinnest part in the middle of your plate while cooking foods of varying shapes and thickness. This way, that part will be cooked the last. Slice the food that you will cook in the microwave first and put them with the thin parts in the middle. So you will have cooked all the sides of the food equally. Use microwave safe containers. Do not use metal or metal containers, wooden containers, aluminium trays or non-heat resistant plastic or paper containers. To determine if a container is microwavable, Fill a container which you know is microwavable with 250 milliliters of water and place it on the glass tray. Next to it, place the container that you are uncertain. Run the product for one minute. If the empty cap is warm, it is not microwave compatible. Check that the product is turned off before cleaning. It'll be very difficult to remove the dirt if it is left untreated for a long period of time. For this reason, clean the product and remove food residue after each use. Wait for the product to cool down for general cleaning. Do not use acidic products, abrasive powder or cream cleaners abrasive hard brushes or sponges or metal scrapers to avoid damaging the product. You should use a soft cloth for all surfaces. Do not use old cloths with detergent on them. Remove the rotating glass tray and the wheeled apparatus from the product. Apply Silverline Stainless Steel Surface Cleaner Spray to steel surfaces and clean with a soft cloth. Mm -hmm. 
After cleaning, dry all parts thoroughly and make sure that they are fully seated. Pour a sufficient amount of the Silverline glass surface cleaning cream into the glass sections. Clean with a soft cloth in a circular motion.